hello guys and welcome back to another video i am ashley for those of you who are new and i am back with a mini haul from tj maxx so if you guys are interested keep watching so the first um, product that I have is this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Now this, I love this. I love this primer. Like I felt like it was the only primer that really worked for me. Um, it was expensive to me, $34 at Ulta, regular price. I don't even, I don't even know if they actually sell Becca Cosmetics in the store i know that they have them online but i don't think they sell them in the store but i got this for 10 bucks at tj maxx thrilled to get it um yeah it's yeah i've paid full price for it but uh once i purchased it before i'd never bought it again but up until now so i was thrilled to get this for 9.99 happy so the next product is just this uh, Carla Lash Adhesive. I am running out of my favorite, which is the Duo. So I saw this and I got it for $4.99. I've never tried it. Uh, the only con would probably be that it's dark. And I don't really like dark <clears throat> eyelash glue because it's messy. So I like it clear or white and it dries clear. But I got this just because I was running out. Uh next thing is this elf set and i don't really have a whole bunch of skincare products from elf but i the reason why i bought it is because of this right here this moisturizer right in the middle and you get a full size and then you got these two trial size this is a watermelon glitter fast face mask and the watermelon jelly cleanser water gel moisturizer so i am excited to try all three um six bucks clearance section Another product that I received or purchased, not received, purchased, was this e.l.f. Uh, let me see, e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer Clay. And this seems like this would be the perfect base for your eyeshadow. It's crease and smudge proof for up to 12 hours. So $2, had to get it. This next thing is uh, some velvet touch-up razors. Um, I use this to uh, derma play, derma blade with, but I know that that's not the proper terminology for what it really is, uh, what I'm really doing, which is just kind of getting the peach fuzz off my face a little bit. But I do enjoy these particular brand razors. They're really cool, really good. And they were $6.99. So the next thing is this Murad or Murad uh, skin product and it's like a, a one two three step thing moisturize and protect uh oil and pore control mattifier i don't i didn't see any of the other products that's supposed to be used with this so i just got this it was four dollars so i figured i'd give it a try the next thing that i have is this bh cosmetics uh face mist and it is let me see the paradise refresh i got it for four bucks I don't really have a whole bunch of BH Cosmetics products. I do have their foundation and an eyeshadow palette. And I love the foundation. The eyeshadow palette isn't that great. But um, always interested in new uh, setting sprays or refreshers. So, four bucks. Next, uh, I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. Uh, this was $24.99. Um... I know that a lot of people uh, really like this palette and then some people didn't but I was really drawn to the bright bold colors uh, especially the shimmer so snatched that up for 25 bucks really pretty palette um, I think I only have one ABH eyeshadow palette so I don't normally uh, go for like the higher yeah, like these colors are really pretty. I can't wait to use them. I could open it up and show you guys, but I'm sure you guys know what it looks like. But I got it for 25 bucks. 
TJ Maxx, which I thought was a good buy because I know for sure I wasn't interested in paying $40, 50 for that palette. Uh, the next palette that I have is a low-end palette, but it is so good. Like, okay, this, Cara Beauty. I have another palette that's like this, but it's not. It's different colors. This is the brighter colors. And the quality of these eyeshadows are so amazing for seven, eight dollars. I couldn't believe it. I was blown away. So when I seen this, I hurried up and snatched it up because it's that good. But yeah, they are seven ninety nine, and it has some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors in this palette. I opened it up. Unfortunately, this city lights, this whatever this is right here, is broken. And I didn't know that and I probably should take it back because I know I've seen like two three other one of two other things I might take it back if I didn't throw the receipt away I probably throw the receipt away but if I do or if I don't I'm still going to use the the colors that's in this eyeshadow palette because they are really really good so yeah I was thrilled to get this for $7.99 also I let me see I got these makeup blenders that come for in a pack and these are bella beauty makeup blenders uh they are super soft let me see because i just used one from my last video these are super soft they expand you know this big they are really soft like i'm really impressed by these and these were six dollars six bucks they were uh, really, really impressive. Really soft. So um, I needed more of these uh, sponges. So I got these. Really nice. The next thing that I got, uh, which was a uh, fragrance, it is the Sexy Amber Michael Kors perfume. And this one was $36. Dollars, 36 but and um when i when i take a chance on perfumes from tj maxx like you can't open them you can't smell them so it's just like taking a chance but i usually try to look things up while i'm in the store to see what it may you know smell like or what it might be like in the store and i'm like mm, this might be something that i might be interested in so i went ahead and purchased it for 32 dollars. you get how many ounces is this one like one 1.7 so i thought it was a good buy the last product that I got was the Burberry London perfume and this one was on clearance for 32 so one was 36 and then one was 32 I can't remember which one was which but either way I thought that especially this one you get 3.3 ounces for 30 something dollars good uh good price I do but when I when I got them both home and I smelled them I liked both of them so I was really happy about that um they both smell pretty good so I thought it was a good buy for 30 something dollars but Yes, that uh, just about, I think that's about everything that I had got from TJ Maxx. So, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Have you guys tried any of these products that I purchased? Um, do you guys even shop at TJ Maxx? Do anybody shop at TJ Maxx? Because I, I believe that they have some great deals. They're just like Marshalls and uh, somewhere else. It's a sister store. But um, I love TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But uh yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one